and I call on International Islamic Federation of Student Organizations. Thank you, Mr. President. My audience would like to take a moment to commend High Commissioner for Human Rights on his opening statement on 13 September 2016. The High Commissioner has moved those of us who believe in the collective work, we are people, so shocking vocabulary. What is the United Nations? Outdated, laughable, nonsense. The High Commissioner has pointed to a pattern of state behavior that seeks to undermine the work of this Council. Nowhere is this more visible today than in Jammu and Kashmir, where India continues to refuse to allow OICHR access to Kashmiri people. We are shocked to see the Government of India refuses to access despite the agreement of Government of Pakistan to allow similar access to the part under its administration. Mr. President, this is not a matter of conflicting and competing claims by the India and Pakistan. It's a matter of human rights of 8 million people who are under siege and are killed, blinded, tortured by more than 700,000 Indian army and paramilitary forces as reported by international media, international human rights watchdogs like Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch. Indian forces violate all norms of international norms of crowd control and use brute force against innocent civilians. Bullets are used to kill and pilots to blind. India is blinding entire generation of Kashmiris. Despite a complete crackdown on the communication and sufficient information has been sent to the office of the High Commissioner and other procedures and members of this council, but not a single word of condemnation has been uttered by any. We call upon the Government of India to fulfill its international responsibilities, cooperate with the International Human Rights Missionary and Human Rights Council. We call upon the big powers and countries and governments not to sacrifice human ideals to the altar of business deals with India. This Council has a moral responsibility to speak and act to the rights of people of Jammu and Kashmir since Kashmir is the United Nations recognized this territory. It's not time to show mere concerns. It's time to act before it's too late to control the situation. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank you, sir, for your statement.